why would you ever want to take your specific person back if they left you? You know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Or if he wanted to, he would. Have you heard these statements before? Now, we have all grown up in a society where we are told, you know what? If somebody leaves you, never give them another chance. Or, you know what? If he truly cared about you, he would make an effort to want to be with you. We've all heard these things. However, when it comes to law of assumption and consciously manifesting what we want, we are manifesting 24-7, whether unconsciously and consciously. And everybody in your reality is a reflection of you. So nobody has free will in your reality. So if somebody left you, or they blocked you on everything, or they left you for somebody else, they were reflecting your beliefs that you have going on within yourself. So did you have beliefs going on where you never feel chosen, you never feel worthy of love, you will never feel wanted, you have this belief that everybody always leaves you because when you were little, a parent left you. So you have this belief now that people that you get close to and love always leave. What are the beliefs that are dominant within your subconscious mind? Because your specific person and everybody in your reality has no choice but to reflect you. So by knowing this and knowing that your specific person is just reflecting your consciousness, and if there is a third party, we don't have to look at that third party as a threat, like, oh my gosh, they are now with them, they're going to be together forever. If those are your beliefs, then that's what's going to continue to happen. But you can look at that third party and say, you know what, thank you for showing me what's dominant within my subconscious mind. And now I know that I just have to go within internally and change the beliefs about who I am. Who am I? What is the state of being that I am embodying on a daily basis? I can decide right now that I am the one who has it all. I am the one who is always in healthy, committed relationships. I am the one that is always chosen, that is always worthy, that is always wanted. Everybody I'm with always stays with me because they see how amazing I am. That's who I am now. Once you make that decision on who you are and you stick to that and you embody the state of consciousness every single day and you, when you think about your specific person, you are not focused on a third party. You are focused on, of course, they're loving me, they're choosing me, they're wanting me, we are together now, then you will then manifest a completely different version reflected back to you by them. Follow me for more tips.